I had this interesting idea to make a new type of candy shooting catapult. A great idea, you might say. Others may think there are already millions of other projects like this. But after looking for a while at the finest designs, I came to a conclusion that I can probably improve and beef up the design and make a modern catapult. So I set some goals for myself. The catapult has to have a functionality to recharge itself. It has to be able to use remotely. And I also wanted to use the small stepper motors that I had in hand. Let's take a look in history to see how this came to be a real thing. The design process started from learning the basics. The first design was of course like everyone else's. A simple manual catapult using rubber bands. Not very exciting. The second version is where I added stepper motors to see if I could make the catapult work automatically. In the end the second design was very fragile and had lots of design faults. The third version improved on the design flaws on earlier experiments and design was more tight and compact. The dispenser mechanism was designed so it could reload the catapult and hold it in place using a stepper motor. The launch mechanism uses simple rubber bands so it can change how far the catapult will shoot its projectiles. The 3D printed parts and small stepper models certainly had their limitations on power and durability. Accuracy on the machines was also pretty non-existent. You can use a remote control button to reload and launch the catapult. I designed the machine to be modular, so I could change the gear ratio or replace the dispenser mechanism if it didn't work the way that I had planned. Let's put all the parts together. There was one stepper motor for rotating and loading the catapult. And the other stepper motor locks the shaft in place and at the same time reloads the catapult. The catapult uses ESP32 to control the stepper motors and the button used to launch the catapult uses ESP8266 to communicate with the main unit. I added ball bearings in the gears to help them move smoothly. And lastly, added some limit switches to detect when the mechanisms are in place. Of course, I forgot to add them in the original design. So having a modular system can definitely save some headaches. I didn't film the process of building the remote control button, but I simply used ESP8266 powered by 4X NIMF batteries to make it work. And the main catapult is designed to be powered by a power bank or USB-C charger. There was also a challenge to balance out the power and speed of the small stepper motors. With the higher gear ratio they were too slow and if I decrease the gear ratio all the power is gone. If I was designing this again I would probably use different motors for the project. All that is left is to see the final shots and see if this actually can be a candy feeding machine. <laughs> 